Wouldn't it be nice to go to bed knowing that when you go to sleep, you're actually making some money? Yeah, I know, right? That's the goal. Well, today I'm going to be sharing with you five ideas to make you some money while you sleep. That's five ideas that does not require you to actively exchange your efforts on a day-to-day -day basis to earn some money. This is considered passive income, which can be a great way to supplement your regular income or to achieve financial freedom. And the best part is that you don't need to be a genius to get started with any of these ideas that I'm about to share with you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, and subscribe. So one of the simplest way to earn passive income today is by selling the rights to use your photos and videos for a fee on stock photo or video websites such as Shutterstock, Getty Images, iStock Photos, Adobe Stock, among several other websites. Have you ever gone on Google and you've seen those images and it says protected or it says get images on it or anything like that? Well, those are stock photos where you have to pay to use those photos. And when I say using your photos or your videos, I don't necessarily mean photos of you or your face, even though that can be used as well. But I'm really speaking to like photos of anything. It could be photos of nature buildings furniture pencils pillows it really doesn't matter it can be off your face if that's what you want but it doesn't necessarily have to be so how it works is that you basically take photos of whatever category that you decide on and of course you're going to make sure that they meet the site's specs the dimension the size etc you're going to upload them and then you're going to add related keywords to help them appear in search results and then whenever someone uses one of your photos you get a cut of the sale it's really that simple so in case you don't fully get what i'm saying let's use this example right so let's take a content creator for example so as a content creator whenever we're producing content it is always recommended that we use our original content or ensure that we receive permission to use whatever content that we're going to be using as part of our content right sometimes when we're trying to explain a point you'll see where we use pictures or videos to help you guys to better understand whatever it is that we're trying to explain plus for like videos like this where it's like a talking headshot where you're just looking at my beautiful face i know you love to look at it but sometimes we still break it up with some videos or some photos to so keep it engaged so that you're not just looking at one thing all the time so for those kind of videos and photos we would hop over to one of those type of stock photos photos or video websites and purchase a stock photo or video that can help us to properly explain the point that we're trying to make. These websites would either sell us the right to use individual photos or videos or a lot of them have a subscription fee where we pay per month and then we get access to like a whole a wide range of photos and videos. There are stock photo and video websites that are free but of course you're gonna only get limited amount of photos and videos videos because they're free right but for the most part they're paid and it's not just for content creators it could be for businesses that are looking for stock photos to use on their website or stock videos to use in their commercials or things like that it, it can be for anyone really so why am i telling you all of this well, if you were to start listing your photos and videos on these stock websites that people are going to, whenever someone purchases one of these photos or videos or purchases a subscription to get access to these photos or videos, you would earn from the sale of that. So if it is per photo, you would earn a commission on the photo. And if it's from the subscription, you'd earn a percentage of that depending on the platform that you're dealing with. So you'll take the photo so one time meaning once you go and you go out and you take a bunch of photos or a photo you upload it once and it generates passive income in the back end for you and it doesn't have to be the most professional photos or videos around to be honest because i've seen some where it's just regular photos and videos and i've used many that are just regular and let's think about it our phones these days give us some pretty good quality photos so I think that's good enough. I mean, my iPhone 
spits out 4K content and I don't even shoot in 4K because it takes up so much space. But if you need 4K, it's there. 1080p is usually good enough if you understand what I'm saying. So hypothetically speaking now, right? Let's say your photo that you took and posted on this website is being sold for $20 and you're making a 20% commission on the sale. That means that you would make $4 for each time someone uses that photo. So now let's say that, remember it's online now, you have access to a wide audience. So let's say that a thousand people are using this photo for whatever reason, or whatever purposes. That's $4 times a thousand people, that's $4,000 for one photo that you took once and uploaded, and it's there making you money in the back. This one photo will be making you money while you sleep. Imagine that something to think about right just remember that when starting any job no matter what it is it takes time and effort to build up your portfolio and start making money but with persistence and patience you can create a steady stream of passive income while you sleep comment below and let me know your thoughts is this something you've ever thought about is this something you've ever done something you'll be doing comment below and let me know and share this with someone who you know is looking for ideas of what they can start to do right now in 2023 to make some money while they sleep all right subscribe and let's move on to option number two so just like photo and video licensing, new and upcoming musicians, composers, and music enthusiasts can earn passive income from licensing their music. This is very similar. It involves selling the rights to use their music to others for a fee. Just like for photos and videos, you don't have to be a super professional, but if you know how to put together some beats, put together an instrumental, put together a whole song, then this may be the one for you. There are sites like Audio Jungle, Pond5, Epidemic Sound, Artlist, and a bunch more that you can use to make some money. Again, I'm going to use myself as an example. Now, as a creator, originality goes a far way. And especially where music is concerned, YouTube is super strict on it. So we're not allowed to use other people's music in our videos if we're hoping to make money from it. And rightfully so, because these artists and producers, I know they put a lot of time and effort into their craft, so they ought to be compensated for it, right? I mean, if I were doing music, I would want to get paid for my music too, so I totally understand so for my videos to beef it up a bit and make it a little more engaging and to help to bring across the message i oftentimes use music now i'm no musician and i like to focus my attention in the areas where i have strength in and music is not one of them so to get access to music without being penalized i sign up to a platform called epidemic sound where i pay 15 dollars per month and get access to their library of music and sound effects that i use in my videos i've been doing youtube for a hot minute and have been using them for quite some time so you know they've gotten many 15 dollars from me <laughs> now why am i telling you this these music that epidemic sound have made available to me they all came from somewhere there are musicians and people that indulge in the creation of music some professionally and some which are regular people like me and you and they sell their music to platforms like epidemic sound for an upfront fee and they split the streaming revenue 50 50 with epidemic for other platforms like artlist the musicians get to keep the right to their music and earn whenever someone downloads their music so i'm saying this to say that there is a demand for music for especially creators we cannot use the latest rihanna song or Drake song or beanie man song or whoever it is in our videos because we're earning on the videos so for that we have to get copyright free music royalty free music music that we pay for to use in these videos so if you are someone that know how to create music you can a offer this music to the creators directly to companies looking to do commercial directly or you can go through some of these platforms to sell the, the right to use your music in their different projects 
And because it's an ongoing thing where people are using this every day for their different content or every week or every month, you'll be earning on an ongoing basis while you sleep. So something to think about if you have that gift of creating music, then this is definitely an opportunity for you to earn some money today while you sleep. So the next passive income stream is pretty interesting. <laughs> 2023 is something else, I tell you. If you have a parking space that you are not using, a garage, a carport, a driveway, you could trade that spot for some cash. If you have a large area that can fit several cars, then that's good for you. So let's say, for example, you have a three-car garage or a two-car garage, but you only have one car. Then there's an opportunity for you to earn some extra dollars renting out the other two spots or the other spot that you have at your house. And I know you may be thinking that you may need to live in a city for something like this, right? But let me tell you, yes, it's good for people that live in a city, but for those that are not living in a high demand city area this is still available to you in fact there are two different ways where you can earn one on a more one-off basis and then the other on a more longer term basis so for the one-off basis let's say there's an event like a concert a sporting event or some kind of event that happens every now and then in your area and parking is usually tight at that venue well if you live close by you could rent out your yard space your carport your driveway your garage to people that are looking to attend these events i went to see kevin hart comedy show live late last year and when we got to the venue parking was 40 dollars and i think that's expensive to be at a place for an hour and a half and you know we didn't know anyone in the area or didn't know the area very well so of course we paid to park there but let's say you lived close to that venue and you know that that's happening and you have space in your carport or your garage or whatnot that'd be an opportunity for you to charge even five dollars less ten dollars less for people to park there and you can earn a one-off money as i said that's more on a one-off basis now for the longer term one if you're living in the U.S., there's a platform called Neighbor that allows people to list their parking space and earn passive income. So here's the website. It's www.neighbor.com. So let's choose a city. And let's say uh, Fort Lauderdale. And immediately you see a bunch of listings come up. Here's a 20 by 20 parking lot from Ray H with a five star review for $124 per month. Here I can see a short buyer about Ray. He's a real estate investor. He loves the beach, traveling and animals. He's generally very social and likes to meet new people. I can see where it says one off street parking space on a safe, well lit, fairly busy street. A little bit north of downtown Fort Lauderdale and south of Wilton manners so it gives some information ahead so you know what to expect when you get there if you should book this place i can see where it says vehicle can be stored there it is outdoor and uncovered shows the dimension of the parking space which will fit a car and then there are photos that shows you exactly what the parking space looks like so that you know what to expect when you get there. And of course, there are reviews down below. So you can check that out. And then they have the map so that you can see exactly where you're going, where you're staying and what's around. If you keep scrolling, you'll see various listings to choose from at different price ranges. And remember, it can be targeted to whatever city or state that you're located in. Here's Sonia renting her driveway for $150 per month. She's a student and work part-time at home. Her standard size is a 10 by 20 parking space available on the west end of a private driveway located behind a securely monitored shopping district in downtown Oakland Park. So that's pretty cool, I think. <laughs> so this platform, Neighbor, advertises that they're keeping hosts and renters safe by providing $1 million host liability protection and up to 90% market value reimbursement for any stolen or damaged items for renters who purchase a protection plan. It's a pretty cool way to make some passive income and have peace of mind because of this $1 million liability protection. If you're living 
thing in the UK, my research shows that there are apps like JustPark.com that may help you to list your parking space. And if you're in Australia, my research shows that Parkhound may be a great one also. But of course, I always encourage you to do additional research and see what suits you. There are many platforms out there, so you just have to choose the one that works best for you and your circumstances. Comment below and let me know what you think. Is this something that you'd ever do? If something that you've ever heard about? And is this something you're interested in? Comment below and remember to subscribe. Now on to the next one. So the next way to earn some passive income while you sleep is by renting out space. And yes, I said space, but not parking space this time. This is more space in your house, in your yard, in your shed, in your attic, in your loft. Yes, renting out space and for this i'm i'm gonna plug the platform i mentioned just now again neighbor.com they allow you to make extra money by turning your extra space into storage it's really a platform or an online marketplace that connects people with extra stuff to people who have extra space <laughs> that's the best way i can explain it so outside of garages and driveways and carport that i mentioned earlier you can also rent out space in a spare room, basement, backyards, attics, closets, sheds, side yards, and many more. Whatever part of your house that you have a little bit of space, there's always someone looking to rent out that space because they have a lot of stuff. I've seen where garages are going for anywhere between $150 to $500 per month. People renting their driveways for $100 to $300 per month. I'm seeing closets going for anywhere from $20 to $50 per month. Spare bedrooms just to hold the stuff not for people to live in there but just to rent the space to hold things anywhere from 250 to 500 dollars per month so let's say you have a closet in your house that no one is using nothing is in it that's an opportunity to earn some extra money or if you have an attic a loft the basement you know again that's an opportunity to earn some money and a good thing is that with this platform they're promising one million dollars in liability protection so you have that peace of mind if anything should go haywire so again let's head on to their website at neighbor.com let's look at a space this time in atlanta georgia so here's lauren renting out a bedroom that she's not using in this house for 125 dollars per month note that the first month for storage on this platform is always half off she advertises that the spot is perfect for just about an entire bedroom set a futon several boxes and other items she also said that it's her favorite room of the house with lots of natural light which is pretty good but i mean if you're storing things it probably don't won't matter if it has a lot of natural light or not because <laughs> you're just storing things you won't necessarily be there but it's good to know i'm also seeing where she added some information about her i guess for you know potential customers to feel comfortable here she's saying that her name is lauren and she was born and raised in dallas texas recently graduated from uga with a degree in marketing so forth and so on that's good at least you get a, a you know a small preview of who you're working with here is alana she's renting out her closet and yes i said closet for 32 dollars per month so she's able to make some passive income by renting out that small little closet there that's doing nothing in her house and just note again that this doesn't require any active work to earn money Yes, with passive income, you're expected to do some upfront work to get it going. But once that's going, then you can expect to earn some money over a period of time. And you'll earn money as you sleep. Comment below and let me know what you think. Is this something that you, you, you'd consider? What are your thoughts on something like this? And I will move on to the fifth passive income idea that can make you some money while you sleep. I could not do this video without mentioning YouTube. You can make so much money while you sleep with YouTube.
And before I move on, let me just add this caveat. YouTube is a lot of work. A lot of hard work and a lot of smart strategic work. But the thing about it is that once you create a video and post it once, it can earn money indefinitely. Especially if you're creating content that is highly searched for and content that's referred to as evergreen content, which is content that provides value even a long period after it is published. So it's content that's always green it's content that is always relevant if you've been here for a while you know that i've been doing youtube for a little while and i have content that i've created and posted from years ago that's still making me money every month every day i've changed my content has changed but the money still comes in years after creating it and it will continue to do so for as long as it's on the channel. So I really don't need to touch those videos. I just leave them to do their thing in the background while I focus on the new content that I put out every week for you guys. So if you're looking for a sign to start YouTube, this is it. This is the sign. Thank me later. There is so much benefits from having a YouTube channel. And I spoke about that in several videos. I'll link them down in the description bar below. So you can check those out. And I'll actually do an updated and dedicated video on it for you soon. Feel free to leave all the questions that you have in the comment section below. So I can include them in that video for you. But again, if you're on the edge, if you're on the fence, if you're looking for a sign, to start your YouTube channel, now is the time. Do it. So there you have it, guys. These are five passive income ideas for you to earn money while you sleep. Remember, the key to passive income is finding something that works for you and require little ongoing effort. Also, remember that there's no one-size-fits-all approach to generating passive income, so be sure to choose an option that works best for you and your financial goals. I do have many more passive income ideas that I love to share with you and will do so in future videos to come, so be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you get notified whenever I post another video share this video with someone who you know is looking for some inspiration or some ideas of what they can do and comment below and let me know your thoughts and comment below and let me know what you want to see next remember to leave your suggestions your questions so that if it's something that needs to go in another video i can definitely do that for you i want to say thank you again thanks for your support really i appreciate you being here thank you so much share the video so that it can get out to more people and i'll see you in the next one bye like, share, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Watch every video member says she not hype. Like, share, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Watch every video member says she not hype. Hey, mm -hmm. it's Rushlin. Mm -hmm. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause she not boring.